But um, what about the new specialist centres now? Uh, because this is causing concern as well. And that we're going to see um, you know, uh, centres of excellence for people who have had heart attacks. Uh, and centre of excellence for people who've had strokes. Carl, you've mentioned uh, uh, the stroke centre that's going to be at, at, uh, at, at the Princess Royal. Uh, so, in Bromley. So, uh, uh, people's concerns about in an emergency being taken to those centres because they're going to be in strategic locations, possibly even further away or possibly outside of the uh, uh, South East London area. They are, and, and there's a reason for that um, because. Um, the outcomes for uh, both stroke and cardiac patients in London are currently well below the national average. Um, and one of the reasons for that is London has its centres of excellence spread too widely. Um, the, uh, one of the targets that the government has set is that everybody who has a stroke should have a CT scan within three hours of that stroke. I can tell you that last year not one London Trust uh, met that uh, deadline. And that includes the London Teaching Hospitals of St Thomas's. Well, just, I mean, because that's sort of very sort of technical answer, what does that actually mean for patients? It means it, 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 uh, we now have access to uh, what we call clot-busting drugs, uh, the thrombolysis, um, where if you have a stroke and within three hours um, it is appropriate for you to receive a clot-busting drug, we can give you a clot-busting drug, it will bust the clot and you will recover from that stroke with almost no side effects whatsoever with an incredibly quick time frame. If you're not treated quickly, people know that stroke victims can take weeks, months, even years to recover from their stroke. It's a very, very slow process. So you have a very, very narrow window in which to administer thrombolysis. But there is a problem because strokes are caused by one of two things. They're caused either by a blood clot or they're caused by a burst blood vessel in your brain. If you're given thrombolysis and you have a burst blood vessel in your vein, brain, it will kill you. So the consultant who decides to administer clot-busting drugs has to know what has caused the stroke. Is it a clot? It is a burst. The only way that can be found out is by a CT scan. So this reconfiguration of uh, centres of excellence means everybody will have a CT scan within the three hour window. When the new process is completed. And so what will happen is immediately someone is suspected of a stroke, the ambulance, if it's for uh, this part of London, will take them either uh, to the Prue or to the King's, whichever is the closest, where they will immediately get a CT scan and immediate treatment. They won't stay there longer than 48 hours because the whole part of the, of, of the process is quick and immediate treatment for the condition and then decant back into your local hospital for your period of recovery. So stroke victims will still end up at, at Queen Elizabeth, they'll still end up at Queen Mary's, but they will come here after they've had that immediate uh, 24, 48 hour burst of very intense attention. And, and 